Hello and welcome to my knife channel. Well, I got in this one, which is the Heavy Duty MG. And it's, it's got something in here in the back. It says it's a powerful tool for bushcrafters, hunters, and outdoor people. Extra large ergonomic handle with a soft high friction grip. The knife has a blade of carbon steel with high load capacity, easy to resharpen, sheathed with belt clip. Uh, it came in a box. The other one just came in um, a bag, just like this. I mean, I added the lanyard, but I mean, it just came like this in a bubble wrap. Shipping. This one came in bubble wrap with this box, which... How are you supposed to do the tab? I cut it open to get into there because it was defying logic as to, you know, usually like these, they come back a little bit and there's a little tab. I don't know. I got frustrated with it. Cut it open. Um, the difference I've noticed right off the bat, of course, is the weight. It's a little bit heavier in the hand. And um, this one is thicker, of course. I, I, I did a balance like this. I don't know how they're doing it, but this one balances at the same point as the one with the... Maybe not. Yeah, they, they balance at about the same point. Strange. I mean, this one's heavier, but the handle is bigger in the back and slightly longer just a little bit so that's probably what offsets the weight the other thing that i've noticed is they're going with a, a laser etch here let me see if i can get this guy to zoom in they're going with a laser etch now instead of a stamped in you know engraved type of thing so we have that going uh, the spine is flat. However, you see those four strikes right there? That was me attempting to strike a ferro rod on it. Because even though it's flat like this, it's not 90 degrees. They put a, they put a camphor on this edge again. So I'm going to take a sharpening stone. And, you know, when I first got it, I go, oh, good. It saved me an hour and a half or so of straightening out that spine. Let me zoom this guy back out. I like it. It doesn't feel substantially heavier, but you can tell that the blade stock is is a lot thicker. I'll put the specs on there. I think this one's a .12 and this other one's a .08, but I mean, it, it almost looks like double the thickness, even though it isn't. They're technically the same blade length, but you can see the handle is longer on the HD and it's also thicker it's not too thick I saw somebody said oh I got it and it, it just feels odd it, I, I love it it feels great so um the other difference I noticed is even though these are similar sheaths this one doesn't have the the new HD doesn't come with a sticker or someone took it off or whatever, but that's the only thing that I've noticed on that. And other than that, it's a great knife. It, it clicks in pretty securely, same as this one. They're similar, similar clickage. Uh, the uh, tip of this handle here sticks up just a little bit more when it's on the belt sticks out just a little bit more maybe makes it easier to grab if you want to overall great knife though um i'm impressed with it i'm just like i said i'm just going to take a file and go up here and get this 90 degrees just so i can spark a ferro rod on it not that we don't have big lighters but it's just a fun thing to do also they highly polished this blade normally i don't know if you can see it Normally you get a little of those uh, styrations, you know, but they went really good with the buff and just polished, polished that right out. Of course, it's a finger magnet right now. This one's in carbon, just like the other one. 
and once again I'm just gonna keep it if it gets a patina on its own then it's gonna get a, pat a patina on its own but I'm gonna keep it with a uh, mineral oil or EDCI on it and uh, try not to let it rust or anything like that but uh, yeah I'm really impressed with it it's only like about five dollars more for this one compared to the standard companion uh, you can't go wrong with any of them even the 511 basic the only difference is this one it's the all plastic handle and this hilt sticks out a little bit more it feels good and secure in the hand when you get this type of uh, knife right here with this type of hilt, it's still with the palm swell and everything, it still fits well in the hand and uh, has no problem. So I've only had it, you know, this one I've only had like about an hour. <laughs> and this one I've had a day. And this one I've had a few months. So this is what started me off. I uh, got in my Locksport channel, a locksmith named Mike. He knew that I liked my uh, knives, and uh, he sent this one along, and I'd never had a Mora before. I just had never been exposed to them, and instantly I liked it, and I said, wow, this is great. And I started using that Scandi grind, which I'd heard about, and man, easy to sharpen, because it just, most of that bevel right there, you can just fit it right on a stone easily. It's just really hard to find the, the angle sometimes when you're, when you've got the bevel just right at the end, like a compound grind. Anyway, I love these knives. They're inexpensive. I highly recommend them for anybody that has never tried a Mora before. Uh, I've seen people do some torture tests and stuff with them, and they can take a lot of abuse, but... I wouldn't put a lot of abuse through them, but I wouldn't be afraid to. I'm not one that likes to baton wood, but uh, this one could do it if you wanted to. I have a Mora Robust coming in. I just wanted to see what it is. I think it's going to be like this guy, but with a wider blade, thicker blade, and a little bit wider. But about the same length. It's a gray handle. And then that'll probably be it for Mora's for a while. I just got on the fixed blade Mora thing for a little bit. So, thank you for watching and have a nice day.